collection. You had a stamp collection? The <laughs> 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 only way I could truly express myself. Shh, quiet, Lisa. Hey, the burglar left his calling card. You have just been robbed by the Springfield Catbird. Good Lord, my Storm and Norman commemorative plate stolen. Again. Hey, I thought I had more stuff than this. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, please. We have a major break in the case. We recovered the burglar's handkerchief from one of the crime scenes. Oh, man. That's better. All right, get the scent, boy. Come on, get the scent. Now, get him! Well, as you can see, when the burglar trips the alarm, the house raises from its foundations and runs down the street and around the corner to safety. Oh, high-tech security system. Oh, my cataracts are gone. I can see again. All the beauty of nature. I'm blind. Thank you for coming. I'll see you in hell. What's the point of all these precautions? I've already lost the only thing that matters to me. Oh, Lisa, stop pining for your saxophone. I got you another instrument. What, this jug? Oh, honey, <laughs> I didn't realize how much that horn meant to you. <laughs> don't worry. Daddy's going to get it back. I don't know how, but I'll figure out something. Thank you. Since the police can't seem to get off their dufferoonies to do something about this burglarino, I think it's time we start our own neighborhood watch. A Rooney. Yay! Now. Someone else! Someone else! I'm someone else! He's right! We don't need a thinker. We need a doer. Someone who'll act without considering the consequences. Hold on! Hold on! First, I was just filled with vinegar. Mm, sorry, Dad. You're too old. Too old? Why, that just means I have experience. And old people are useless. Aren't they? Aren't they? Huh? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Stop it! On. It's a form of abuse. And if a group of responsible adults can handle firearms in a responsible way... Sorry. Uh-oh. Me again. Sorry. Huh? It's a wedding, huh? No, we're forming a vigilante group. Come with me. Say it's a miniature version of the A-bomb. <laughs> Put this in your pipe and smoke it! How now, brown bureaucrats? <laughs> Take that, Maynard G. Krebs! Hey, see this sign? Give me that megaphone of yours. It's not just a megaphone, Dad. It's a Ratmaster 2000. Never mind the commercials. Just give it to me. I've got to whip this neighborhood into shape. Hey, you! Where'd you get that saxophone? Sears. Get him! So I said to him, Look, buddy, your car was upside down when we got here. And as for your grandma, she shouldn't have mouthed off like that. Dad, don't you see you're abusing your power like all vigilantes? Literacy programs. Preserving our beloved covered bridges. World domination. World domination? Oh, hey, that might be a typo. All people can come up with statistics to prove anything, Kent. Forty percent of all people know that. Hello, homo. My arch nemesis. Yellow. Uh, you do realize who this is? Uh, Marge? Why, you monster! And you have my daughter's saxophone, too! Hunter! Hunter! That's our stage manager! Listen, Mr. Cat Burglar, I vow to go without sleep and guard the Springfield Museum day and night for as long as it takes from now on! Just stand around and don't steal anything. Hey! We're on our break. Any sign of the burglar yet? Still show. How's that? It's his job. How's that? He's a burglar. 36 years ago, some lady gave birth to a man named Homer J. Simp. Oh, my God. Underage kids drinking beer without a permit. Chug, 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 chug. <laughs> asleep at the switch. I wasn't asleep. I was drunk. Let me down, man. No, I don't believe in nothing no more. I'm going to law school. No! Oh, my. I had no idea how much this town loved that zirconia. Let me through! Coming through! Oh, Grandpa, they pelted you, too? 
No, actually, I fell down as a big boy. He was right under my nose the whole time. He lives in my retirement home. His name is Malloy. Wow, how'd you track him down, Grandpa? Good question. We felt slighted by your age bashing and started home. Malloy said, I'll catch up with you. Malloy, unlike most retired people, has the world's largest cubic zirconia on his coffee table. And there she is, the world's largest cubic zirconia. What an eyesore! Actually, it wasn't me. It was my dad. Grandpa. Thanks, son. So you see, old people aren't so useless after all. Of course, I'm happy to return all of your treasured possessions. Oh. Selma, my dear, your lock of MacGyver's hair. Thank you. I'll add it to the ball. I sincerely regret any inconvenience I may have caused. And although I have stolen your material goods, let me assure you that your dear town has stolen my heart. I suppose you're wondering where I hid all the millions of dollars that I stole over the years. Shut up! Oh, well, wait a minute. Maybe we should uh, hear him out. Where'd you hide the loot, Malloy? It's buried right here in Springfield, under a big T. Hey! <laughs> Let me through! I gotta find a big T! There's millions of dollars buried under a big T! You take Highway 201 south for 15 minutes. You take a left. A, a left. Oh, that was fun, ladies. What's the matter with you, kid? You told me the stream was shallow. Why are you... <laughs> I found something. It's a piece of paper. It's mine. Rightfully sorry, but there is no hidden treasure. I have already used this time to escape from your jail. How are you going to get out of here? We'll dig our way out. No, no, dig up, stupid. Like a shining star 